thousands of years, humans have existed next to a world of unimaginable horror. Though rarely encountered, the line between these worlds is not impermeable. A human walks too close to the edge. There's a chance that we will pass to the other side. Okay, Deb, gotta tell you, the subtitles, that sucks. I do not like that blurriness that's on there. It's one thing to have the graphics that way, it's a completely different other one to have all of that. Ooh, yeah, look at this lettering. That's, that's awful. That is absolutely shit. Where's my damn mouse? You serious? Oh my god, look at that! How do I get out of here? Three I don't seem ago, to have my mouse. My wife, Carolyn, disappeared without a trace. I followed every lead, but they all led to dead ends. After searching for years and coming up empty-handed, I gave up and thought I had moved on. Unfortunately, that couldn't have been further from the truth. Caroline, could you really be here? Living in a place like this? After three years of searching for your missing wife, Caroline, you received an anonymous tip. The caller said your wife was alive and well, living in a town in New England called Hell. You thought it was a joke at first, but after some research, you found the town does exist. Now as you're about to arrive, you wonder if this could really be true. Could Carolyn really be here? I don't know. She's probably about as there as much as my damn mouse was. Well, she don't look like she belongs in this world. She a little too uh, clean looking. She ain't fuzzy enough. Don't tell me what to do. This is the final stop. Please exit the train. Thank you. Conclusion. Okay, we can look. Next. Use an open space. Okay, fine. Screw me. I don't need to know anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something here. Can I crouch? See. Okay, I can't interact with that. Door won't move. Are you sure about that? Because there's a diamond. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. I kind of glided there for a second. Hello. So there's an elderly woman sleeping in this subway car. You try to get her attention, but she doesn't react. Maybe it's best to just leave her alone. I mean, probably. Dang, lady. Her boobies is all crazy. You think she's related to uh, the original Lara Croft? Yeah? What's she got here? What is that? Oh. Okay. Well, I'll leave her alone. Candy cane. A plain red crowbar. You could use this to open one of the subway doors. Cool. Door won't move. Move, door. Move it day. Here. Ah. This door is partially open, but it won't budge. Wedge crowbar between the doors and push as hard as you can. Wow. Oh my god. Hey, lady. Oh, I can't see her no more. All right. Uh, this is like weird. The game is like kind of floaty. I don't know how to describe it, but it's also like really slow. Diamond. Diamond. Oh. Okay, this is where I can save. Well, I don't want to save. Get out of here. Nothing's even happened. Don't gotta tell me nothing. I already did things. Turnstile's been chained and locked. 
That's, uh, excessive. I mean, I could just squeeze through there. How fat is my ass? Downtown? We go downtown? You wish to go? Can I go through here? Can't. Damn you. Okay, we're going downtown. From all the way downtown. Smack my head on the damn fucking sign. This is the final stop. I did that. I did that. Ugh. Okay, it wanted me to hit E, apparently. I thought I did earlier, but I guess not. Door locked. Needs key. Where the hell am I gonna find that? This trash can is empty but smells putrid. Alright, I'm checking trash cans now, am I? This is where we expect to find the key? This trash can is empty except for a sludgy brown substance coating the interior. Excellent! Boy seems peers strangely into the distance as a man's face contorts behind him. It's unclear what this is an ad for. Okay. Don't you know I wanna go downtown Cordova Street? Downtown. Lady, do you got the key? I bet she does. There's like something shiny over here. Oh, you can pass through here? I thought this was a whole ass gate. Piece of shit. Amongst the discarded pieces of trash, you find a key. Picked up employee key. Man, the employees around here suck at their job. Must not get paid enough. It's all right. Their laziness is my win. Is that pyramid head on that damn subway train thing? Don't act like you don't see him. You got a balloon? On his way to one of those, um... Caucasian power... Uh, uh, fucking shits. Whatever, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I am tired from like this last week. So much planning. And then of course Christmas is coming up right after Thanksgiving, so you know how it is. Doors locked, needs a key, used employee key. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I transitioned to a box. Check the lockers. They are all empty. What about these lockers? Empty! A musty work uniform. Very dirty. A dirty, dirty uniform. Where is that? What about up here? That? That, that, that? At this point, I'm just gonna start clicking E on everything. Open the locker. Ah. There are some corrosive chemicals and rags inside, and not much else. You find janitor's keys. Cool. Coolie beans. Oh, good lord. Janitor's note. I've done all I can to keep anyone from entering this area. Not like I've seen a soul anyway. Beware! If you're... Huh? If you're something reading this, someone reading this that has plans to enter Cordova, stop! Something bad is happening there. Take my advice, get back on the railway, subway, and leave. I have to warn you about something else. If you see a woman with long black hair in this subway station. Are you talking about that person dressed like they were going to, like, a lynching? Don't talk to her. Oh, okay. I wasn't planning to. If you want to go to Cordova, the keys are in my locker, but make sure you look up everything... Lock up everything behind you. This place is dangerous. It will rot your mind. Okay. Monies? Money? There's a quarter on the desk. Quarter! 
You use the janitor's keys and the chains and the lock fall to the ground. Okay. How do I lock it all back up? Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because that's too much damn time. A poster for a missing girl. Someone has drawn black X's over her eyes with a black marker. Oh, no. A payphone. You need a quarter. Home, Mom, Carolyn. Well, Carolyn's missing, so, you know, screw her. Call no, bitch. No, bitch. Mom. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's me. Huh? Michael. Mom, don't you remember my voice? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. The phone is just low. I'm surprised you called. I haven't heard from you in a while. Oh. I know. I'm sorry about that. Just been busy. That's okay. You know, missing my what wife. Up to? Anything new? Not much. I'm in New England right now. Anywhere I might know? A town called Cordova. It's supposed to be a great vacation town. Never heard of it. Make sure you take some pictures for me. I have to get going, but I'll call you tomorrow. I'm not sure they turn out well, Mom. Yup, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Love you too, dear. Good night. <coughs> Damn bitch, don't die on the phone, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, I might reserve the other quarter. We're gonna hold on to that. We might not find another one. Check this trash can. Filled with bugs. Lovely. I'm out. Save me from myself. Shit. Alright. Oh, look. Another trash can. See several old subway ticket stubs in the trash. Well then. Oh! Oh! Abandoned bicycle. Frame is bent. Dang it. Trash can! Someone tore a phone book in half. Okay. We're gonna use this one. So do we go left? Which... What is that? There's something over here. What the hell is that? Oh, I think that's one of those looking thingies. Just chopsticks? No. <laughs> you see a pair of pliers lying on the ground. It's a strange black substance. In a strange black substance. It's cool. Okay, I can't fall off the edge. Doesn't mean I can't be pulled off. What do we got here? Oh, a lit cigarette. Someone was here recently. The smell is somehow familiar. That hoe, she's out here with her man. <gasps> Gorter! Ah. Stare out at the small dock, watching the water chum quietly below. I, I was looking at the ground. You lie. Alright. Oh, trash can! Foul-smelling refuse! We're gonna go down this way. Oh, I can run now. Found a small key on the ground. Alright. Nothing inside but a beheaded rat. <laughs> Bitch, you crazy. Filled with soda bottles and a thick yellow liquid. Great! Greasy brown. Ugh. I just want to look at your trash can. Huge clumps of bloody hair hug the inside of the trash can. It's going to be heard. You try to open it, but it's being held shut. No, yeah, you, you go ahead. I was going to look at that trash can, thank you. Um, 
This town is weird. Inside, you see a broken baseball bat covered in a shiny black substance. Dirty syringes. Oh damn, dude. The, the sign says the hospital's that way. Okay. You find yourself on a claustrophobic cobbled street. Hospital looms in the distance. Medical armbands. All what? All women's names. Door's locked. Need a key. Okay, inside you find a black wig and a bloody pair of underwear. Oh. Well then. Locked but has a small keyhole. You used a small key. Alright. Small key laying on the desk. Got an alley key. Hey now, don't be doing all that noise and shit behind me. Quarter. Thank you. Death at 2.30. Okay. But like, my death or what? Oh, that's kind of disorienting. Lock tightly. Need to find a key. Well, I found a key. You didn't specify which key. Use the alley key. Okay. And the note on the wall is unintelligible. Oh my god, it's already puzzling! Take a picture. A clock! Press up and down to switch the hands, left and right, to turn the active hand. Oh, okay, so... What the? You stupid! That's what I'm trying to do, let me do it then! I- I want to put in 2.30, that's the only time I've seen! Let me do the shit! Damn! How the fuck do you work? Okay, I don't know how I did this now. Did it not say to change, how to change it? Left and right? Yeah. Okay, I did that. Oh my god. Ha! Small compartment on the cuckoo clock opens, revealing scary looking key. Picked up the death key. Oh, well. That's great. Really? Now get me the fuck out of here. The hell is that? Hey. Creepy. Used the death key. Not the least bit on my nose. Okay, got a... A dead cat lays sprawled out on the ground, several dead kittens surrounding it. You suddenly feel like you're being watched. Am I? No! It's the pyramid head! Okay. Loading. All right. Hospital is to my left. Several torn hospital gowns inside. What do we got over here? Okay, these doors are the locked. Locked. Can 
Can I interact with this? Sticker on the binocular says, out of service. There's a quarter wedged into the quarter slot. Try to pull it out, but you can't get enough leverage. Use the pliers to yank out the quarter. Okay, so I got another quarter. I'm getting riches! Hello? Wait. I think I backed out of that a little too soon. Uh, I think it's on its way. Alright. Yeah, okay. What about this? A boat. If you had oars, you could take it somewhere. Yeah, I probably could do that if I had that, but I don't have that, so... Call home. Hello? Hey, it's me. Just checking in. You're there already? I thought you just left. Yeah, about eight hours ago. It seems like it's abandoned. I'm the only one here. Weird. Well... Let me know how the search goes. I'm ordering something for dinner and spending the night grading my students' papers. How's Benny? He seems happy. I just took him out for a long walk. Uh, I'm sure he appreciated it. Thanks again for watching him in the house for the next few days. I can't pass up this lead. <laughs> it's no trouble. I owe you after all the times you helped bail my sister out. Good luck. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Should we try homie again? See if he's gotten any closer? Waste all my quarters? Oh yeah! Hi! What the fuck just happened? Well, thousands of years. Bitch! Okay, we're back as Michael, here. I reloaded, so it's a good thing I saved before I did anything else. Let's see if we can't find our way... Dark figures can be seen under the water on a nearby shore. They can? I don't see shit. From the man's wounds, Pierce, he was dead before he hit the ground. Wearing a hospital security card. Okay, so we have a security card now. Apparently, I did not uh, hit that just right. I guess um, I didn't get the right angle. Let's try here. Okay. There we go. Ha! You see, you see? Alright. As you step into the darkened hospital, a chill hits your skin. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Hello? Sorted medical papers, nothing of use. Take that key. Yep, hospital key A. Take ourselves a quarter, since I've been using all my damn quarters. Get behind here? No? Painting depicts a burnt man staring up at firefighters putting out a blaze. Okay. B. B. Photo of several figures carrying a young child. They have strange expressions on their faces. This is another B. B07. B04. Painting of a dark figure tending to a group of small creatures. Zero five, eight, C, and zero zero nine. All right, so I don't think I can do anything down here right now. There is a large sheet of metal bolted to fencing, preventing you from moving forward. If you had a pair of pliers, you could pry off the bolts. Use 
pliers to pull the bolts off and the metal sheet comes off easily, okay? Yeah, this shit felt like a trap. Roof A. Dang. All right. Photo showing several dark figures in the distance. Okay, we got our payphone up here. The air is stale. Something rotten is nearby. This area is under construction. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hmm. Okay, let's check the other side. Back to painting closely, you can't tell what it's supposed to be. A man looks at an overturned truck. There seems to be a fungus emerging from the ground. A train barrels towards the viewer. The sky is filled with fog. Button doesn't work. Okay. So we do need to go outside and interact with... Apparently the roof. Hello? Yeah, take the lift. Okay, I'm not controlling this. What rotten thing will we find, huh? Several rusted lockers. Okay, they're all empty. I'm just waiting for something to chase me. Yeah, okay. I could go down. There's definitely a key down there. I don't know if I want to chance that just yet. Okay, made that jump. Is this? They keep coming back. The only way to stop them is to burn the bodies. Just don't inhale the fumes. What have we got here? Got another door. Someone set up a television in VCR. big. Hmm. All right, let's go get that key before we progress. Okay, I had to jump that. I got stuck. 
Several decomposing bodies. The smell is terrible. Roof ladder. Alright. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. We gotta check that door out, too. Is this a furnace? Door won't open. I think it might be a furnace. That had me worried for a second. I was like, what is that? I miss mommy. I hate this place. The Circle Bro, everyone's favorite retro video game hero. Cool. Nothing inside. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's a door. Oh. Used roof ladder key. Okay. Where does this one go? Hmm. Oh, we got another VHS. Okay, this is tape three. Tape two. All right, we got both tapes. There's something up there. You see that? That green? Look like it, right? Huh. Okay, put in tape two. It's kind of a long freebie, isn't it? I didn't try to check to see how long this is actually taking. It might be about an hour. But we're already at 41 minutes. Hello? No home. No Mr. George. Yeah, I can't stand the sound of someone knocking on a door. It freaks me out nowadays. That's my trauma. Another tape. I have tape three, though. Why you sh What? The cursed tape. Oh, no. Ooh, it might actually literally be the cursed tape. Okay. Um. Yeah, we might get screwed over here. This one might summon the evil bitches. Play the tape. I'm gonna have to put a warning on this. I forgot to put a warning on the last one. Okay, went up. Uh huh. Oh shit! It's me! No. Where'd 
Where do I go from here? Oh, dirty. Hospital key B. Alright, now we go back, yeah? Oh, wait. What about this side over here? Is, will this key let me in through that other door? Oh, no, wait. There is no other door. Forgot. What is this, though? Oh, you know what? I don't trust that. That's gonna give me an ending or something. Somebody's gonna shove my ass. You ain't tricking me. Let's call Carolyn. See what happens. I see that town. Silent Hill. Pick up the phone, you dumb hoe. Out here got me wasting quarters. Making my way down dark halls in a hospital. Trying not to get freaked out because I'm in a hospital. We're looking for an ore. Still can't interact with that. Wow. I don't think that level of quarantine really works that well. Alright, this is C. We've only got a B, though. I'm gonna walk into something stupid at one point, and just know I am. Yeah, I can't interact with those no more for some reason. Zero eight. Zero four. A green tree. I got me an herb. Is that what that green thing was up above uh that one area? I saw something green over there. Up on the roof. I love how I just bounce into a room. Oh yeah, let me get on this bed, take myself a nap right here. Won't fall off, looking awful cozy. Okay, we're gonna start with zero one. Uh-huh. I see you. Patient note one. Am I supposed to be able to read that? Okay. Patient is suffering from hallucinations, claims a demonic rat is terrorizing him. The patient brought the rat's head to the hospital and warned us not to put it back together. Demon rat, are you in here? It's like this quarter, though. Oh, yep, yeah, sure enough. Matches. And a rat's head. That's, yeah, okay. We're gonna do it anyway, I guess. That's how we roll. Zero two. What the hell was that? Got another herb. Got me to herb. And zero three. An old floppy disk. You haven't seen one in years. Darkness. Something. Okay, I might be able to use that on the computer. Can't interact there. Nothing there. Alright, let's save one more time. I'm gonna save... here now. Because I don't know if doing the rat head thing is gonna... do anything for us. Ancient looking computer sits on reception desk. You try to power on, but nothing happens. Insert floppy. Computer grinds as it reads from the floppy disk. You almost think it has some frozen until text pops up, appears to be a song. As you listen, you find the song strangely familiar. Okay, I think that's it.
We did not find another key. So the only other room is this C room down here, which we don't have. Yeah, we don't have this. We might be able to find it somewhere outside. Ugh, that's disorienting. Okay, this is still locked, so we might need to put the rata back together. Put rat, uh, put rat head on beheaded rat. The rat suddenly comes to life. It darts towards a nearby door. Hey, you got my C key? I'm looking for an R. R H. Okay. Yep. And this handle's broken. Broken handle. Welcome. Ooh. Button doesn't work. Alright. Oh. Poster describing a mother and daughter that went missing during an early morning hike. Their clothes were found on the trail, but neither have been seen since. Is this the same poster? It looks like it. Oh. Poster describing a missing brother and sister. There's a small reward for any information about their whereabouts. Okay. Well, welcome door it is. Okay. What the hell is that supposed to be? We're trapped. There's no escape. Charlie and the others are on the roof. Something got them. Probably squirmers? I've tried every avenue of escape, but without the Cordova key, the next area is off limits. Charlie said he hid the key, but it's nowhere to be found. I can't do this anymore. Hey, picked up gas can. Picked up possible elevator key. Okay. So this is all part of the hospital? Okay. Train towards the viewer. Wait, haven't I been here? Yeah, I've been here. What the hell? Okay, we know they were talking about the roof at one point. Something about the squirmers got them on the roof. But we're gonna check down here because I want to make sure... I can't magically access this door now. Okay, so we don't have it. So we are gonna have to go up to the roof. You guys got anything on you? Oh, gas can. Oh, shit. The bodies burn quickly as an acid smell fills the air. Okay, we got C key. Okay. Okay, so the puzzles thus far have not been like super difficult. It's actually kind of like very point A to point B. Uh, pretty si oh, simple. Hello? Oh, hello you! You need help with something, bro? Need you to mind your own business. Whoa! Um... What the fuck just happened? Was I supposed to try to control that? Do I got an inventory? I can't see anything. Picked up Cordova key. The key appears to be a book, not an actual key. Oh, hey! This is that thing! Okay, so... You look inside and find a page filled with a familiar looking symbols. Yeah, let me pull that up real quick. Okay. So it's... Let me get my paper ready here. So, two plus signs, which are... Where? Okay, so... 
One, one. I cannot fucking see these damn symbols very well. Hmm. You stupid! Bring that back! You've gotta be kidding me. How do I pull it back up? Dude. Why... Why is inventory in the escape menu? Open it. Open it. Maybe it'll let me bring it back up in a bit. Okay. I was trying to decipher the fucking thing now so I didn't have to do it later. That's so dumb. I hate this life. Whoa! Okay. I was just wondering. The hell is that? Figure stares down at you expectantly. It motions towards your pocket. You wonder if this is what he wants. What? Oh, you want some herb? Get your herb on, bro. That's good shit. You like that? Motion towards your pocket once again. I dare not tempt you because I'm pretty sure I don't have no more. There might be another one that- the one I kept claiming that I could see on the roof, but I don't know how to get to it. So, there's at least more of those things around here somewhere. I wonder if it's got to do with this. Okay. Oh, come on. You're really gonna block me off? And make me go the long way? Okay, seems like the answer is yes. Ah, suck it. Okay, we got herb four. Hey, got you another one. I hope this is the last one you need. Is that it? How many- I've given you like four of these things! How many more do you need, jackass? Okay, um, I'm going to go... What room was this? Here we go. Okay, you find a pa- I've, I figured it out. Thank God! Uh, that was a lot of like walking around and I couldn't figure out and then I remembered the stupid key and that the other key, like literally the picture I took, was in this room. So, let's see. You find a page in the Cordova key that has a translation for the formerly unintelligible text. Alright, let's, let's see if we can try to puzzle this out. So we know that the plus is one in one. There's like a circle. It's hard to make out the circles in here. I'm assuming four or three. Okay, and then we got this half circle, which might be five. And then we got the two plus signs that are connected. That is 
two. Then the diamond is go. To go to hell. Oh, okay. 11.45 or 11.30. Oh, the clock. The clock. Okay. Okay. We got it. Okay, a small compartment on the cuckoo clock opens, revealing a large red key. Picked up the key to hell. Okay. Use the key to hell. Finally! Okay. So, we're an hour and 48 minutes in, but you guys won't have to suffer through all of that. Let's see, we got another payphone. Got another sewer. Okay, this one's closed. Huh, this one seems to have color. I guess we'll go left. Sticking to the path for the time being. Okay, we found a soccer field. Okay, noted. We got a soccer field, but there doesn't seem to be anything here at the moment. We might have to come back and something else will happen potentially. So let's try another path. I believe straight from here? Yeah. What do we got here? We got a basketball field. Basketball court, not a field. Um, over here, we have a graveyard. The Grim Graveyard. Okay. Kurt, 1970-98. Hmm. <gasps> Herb 3. Thank you. What the? Oh! <gasps> oh, good dog! Oh! He was kind of freaking me out a little bit because his mouth was all open. Oh, he brought me Shorky. Probably gonna get me killed. I'm over here loving on him. That's okay. I will accept betrayal from the dog. Can't get over there. There's a mini LED flashlight lying on the ground. It's not powerful, but it should help. What are you guys thinking of this game so far? Press F to turn the flashlight on or off. Oh, that don't do much, bro. Hello? Is this thing on? Oh my god, you can barely tell it's even on. Old note appears stuck to the rusted metal. North, south, west, east. That's the way the demon feasts. Um. Okay. Well, shit. Okay. I don't know, um. How this is really gonna help me. Because I know I'm gonna end up going the wrong way. Can I not go over there? Ooh, I can. Okay. Gotta jump up here. Oh, I don't trust this, man. Get off that thing. Where the hell am I? Yellow button sticks out from the blocked path. You push the button. What have I done? What have I done?
And I haven't even saved. The feeling. Pull it? I done the bullshit. Ooh. Okay. That better not be alive. <laughs> okay, there's a key here. Sewer management key. Awesome. I don't want to touch the button yet. Some kind of generator. Looks like you need a key to turn it on. Do I not have it? Okay, so I don't have that key. A yellow button. Yeah, I pressed it. Sewer management. Okay. Found my way there. Got another button. Can't do anything with that, apparently. What do we got here? Electronic sca safe. It has a keypad. Okay. Oh my god! You can barely read this. Park management log. The sewer area under the park has been left to the fall to fall into a state of disrepair, and the park has decided to take several steps to counteract this issue. It has recently hired to oversee revitalization of the sewer. Kerr first what? Our first task is to drain the main chamber, which has become filthy with refuse and fetid water. The main generator pump in the utility room needs to be restarted using a special key. Unfortunately, the key is inside a safe in the park management room, and the code is unknown. The last overseer of this area died long ago. If we can't find the code anywhere in the sewer, we will have to Hire a lock smith or someone in construction to at least open the safe. Uh, it appears I've locked myself inside the park management room. I've tried over and over again, but that steel door won't budge. Once... Management sees that I haven't come back from the sewers. They will come looking for me. It's been several hours, and it's getting very spooky down here. I was able to watch TV for a while, but the channels are all static now. Park management should have noticed I was missing by now. What is taking them so long? My watch says it's 1 a.m. There's... There is a... Woman screaming at the top of her lungs directly outside this room. When I try to say something to her, the screaming gets even more blood curdling. I thought it was a joke at first that the other employees had set me up, but she's been screaming for over an hour now. I also keep hearing noises from the hole in the wall. Strange grunting. a hole in the wall, it's pitch dark inside. You get the feeling something is watching you. Okay. Well, that's lovely. And there's a screaming Mimi down here somewhere. Uh-uh, fuck you. Okay, I can't go down. That, that works out for me. 
We can't even go down there. Probably because the water is still in there. Hmm. This door needs a key. Can't jump down there. I've got a choice. Gotta go down. I'm missing. Four lights are on the wall. Need another button. We gotta drain this water. Fortunately, when I drain the water, that also means that we're very likely to let something else out, too. So, it's not just gonna be us running around in here anymore. Let me check this again. Leaving the note where I found it. A disgusting bed covered in brown stains. You see syringes from under it. Choose not to investigate further. Okay. Oh my god, how many fucking... Oh! What the? <gasps> oh! Oh, wait a minute, okay. Oh, I think I get it. Okay, so north. Where's my pencil? So north is 51.55. Okay. How do I interact with this? North, sir. No, okay. Oh, wait, that's... No, okay. I was wrong. Because the, the north is in red, this is in red. So, 51... 5, 1, 1. Okay, and then we need... The... We need south, which would be over there. Yeah? Yes, I believe. So one one five one. One one five one. So west, north, south. This one west, maybe? Cause if this is north, west is on the left side. Yeah, so this is 5155. 155. And then we need east. So north, east, 51515. And then I think that's the code that we get, and then we end up. Lend that damn demon out, most likely. Which means that we're gonna be screwed running around out here with something. Five, five. Five. One. Five. One. 
Five. Yep. Nailed it. All right, picked up the generator key. Generator comes to life. You can hear a rumbling sound in the distance. Okay. Now what? Do we find our way to that ladder, maybe? I mean, so far we haven't been, like, chased by anything, but... I don't mean shit. I feel like we might not get chased because our ability to run, quote-unquote, is not that great. That one's still not done. Yep, it sure as hell is. Okay. Here comes that bullshit. Takes a lot of effort, but you manage to turn the large rusty valve. <laughs> I don't want to be down here, man. What's this? Nothing? No, fuck all of that. Bro, I don't want to be down here. No, this map is making me nervous, bro. Okay, these are all lit up. Doors open. Oh, I'm on the other side. Something's in there. When hell freezes over, this door will become a hole. Hmm. Yeah, this one has me kind of tense. This particular sewer. Yep, here we go. Okay. Picked up sewer key two and a valve handle. Excellent. Is that- that's another key down there. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... Go over the first one now. Okay, I'm thinking we do need to pull the lever in the other direction again. Because I'm pretty positive it's in the wrong spot. So let's head back. That's a big beastie. Uh-uh, come on now. You don't need to be doing all this and showing me stuff like that. Uh, 
No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want to be chased by some big fucking thing that's got arms and legs for days. In this tiny freaking sewer. in here what's in here aha this sewer is draining oh boy oh boy get that key that's over there I see a key I see ya picked up censored key eh censored key another door we haven't been able to oh god yeah if I get chased that's not gonna happen that's gonna be terrible now there is another door we haven't been able to open is it this one I think it's the second one do I leave maybe I leave maybe I've done it jammed shake the lid loose okay well I was able to leave Um, let's go back. We'll give dude a tree. Hey, yay to the homie. I don't know if doing this is a good thing or not, but I'll be doing it. Gate is held shut by a blurry lock. Use, oh, use sensor key. Okay. Okay. We are, we're progressing slowly. We're like two hours into this game. In case you were wondering. Flashlight on the ground. Okay. Uh, the hell. Whoa, that's big. Did I fuck up? Okay. Odd. Moving on. You shouldn't have played. Now we can visit you in real life. You try to focus your eyes, you feel a pounding pain in your head. This game is so Silent Hill, it's ridiculous. Oh man, we are so stinking slow. Something is sitting on the sewer lid. Dirty bitch. I'll give you something to laugh about here in a minute. Wait till I catch up with you. Oh, we can just barely move along. Just barely any faster. Picked up. Rusted sewer handle. Okay. 
Got a phone here. You need a quarter. Let's call mom. Oh, we know we should have tried to call Carolyn. Let's try Carolyn. Or not? No? Okay, we got we had one chance. All right, let's head back. Or across. This works too. What we got here? Place to insert handle. Oh, when the power is on. So let's go turn it on. Let's follow the wire. Okay, now we go back. What'd that do? This is kind of wild. So far, like, we haven't been chased by anything, so I don't think there's that kind of threat. It's just, like, a lot of really weird, um, stuff. You think her fat ass moved, or she's still up there? You just wait. You just wait. You ain't gonna be laughing when I get my hands on you. Aha, here we go. Okay. Take the lift. This game's a lot longer than I thought for a freebie. I'm kind of impressed. Subway car door is locked. Okay. This door needs a key. Can't get up there. Okay, three, one, seven, three, one, seven. Okay, let me write that down. Hmm. Key lying on the ground catches your attention. Picked up subway car key. Okay, used car key. Seven six four four. It might not mean anything, but we're gonna go ahead and write it down. It is a number that happens to be there. It's hard to tell what happened here, but the remains of a body hang from a metal fence. The body appears to be covered in some parts, some sort of sludge. Looking at the face, you notice it's the old woman you saw sleeping in a subway car earlier. Dang! Picked up bridge cage key. Sorry, old lady. Dang. That sucks. You shouldn't have been sleeping on the subway, I guess. This one's locked. Alright. Ah, I think we're on the other side now. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's just like empty space over here. Picked up this quarter. Confusing note. Locker passcode multiplied by subway cars. Multiplied by the subway car number that was in there? Because if so... 
Um, I'm not a math person. Seven, six, four, four. Whoa, that is a big number. Okay, two mil. 423,148, apparently. Is that? 317 multiplied by, yeah. By subway car. 7644. Four. That's the only number that I saw in there. Yeah, that's the number I get. Alright. Okay, we'll see if that works. Ooh! A key that looks like generator key you picked up earlier. It's rusted and slightly different. Okay, dark generator key. Okay, before I put anything in, let me walk further in and see what else is here. A, B, C. Okay. It's covered in rust and a strange bound paste. You'll need to find a way to send power to the generator. Okay. Okay, so we need to follow these, I'm thinking. Goes this way. Calendar from 1983. Flip the switch. And then it's this one. Okay. Okay, so... Two. Four. Two. Three. One. Four. Eight. Code is correct. Okay. I'm glad I took note of that subway number. Insert dark generator key. Generator comes to life. You can hear water draining into an area nearby. Okay. Oh, look at this. Now we can see what's going on here. This game gives the feeling like you'll be chased, but like I said, so far, nothing. Okay, now we're on the other side of that fence. Picked up subway car key two. Okay, so that should get us all the way through the subway car. Excuse me, Granny. I pardon me. Ha. Okay. We are through and making progress. Try the handle, but the door is broken. Ooh, this is open in here. Okay. Tried to interact with the wall to see if anything would happen. Okay. Let's try Carolyn. What if Carolyn's the one who's been up there laughing, sitting on shit? Oh. Okay. Hello? I'm gonna just leave you there. I'm not concerned with you at the moment. This computer's unresponsive. Display static. Okay. Might have something to do with that guy. Maybe he's got something for us. Um, Smokey. The door. Can't do nothing here. B. This is A. 
Uh, filled with sludge, so B it is. Okay, I can't seem to go out. Uh, I can't do anything there. Dead bodies, so you swear you see a few twitch as you gaze as your gaze passes over them. Y'all better not be twitching. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna head back. Um, because that area with the A, B, whatever on it has letters just like the one that's over here. So... Okay. I don't know. I don't know what order they need to be in. I probably did that way wrong because I went to the right. Or maybe it doesn't matter which way you turn them, I, I don't know. But it's a puzzle, I would think. You would have to have the right method for turning them, yeah? Still broken. What about this guy? Alright. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. I see now. Maybe it didn't matter after all. Okay. Car three. the other side. I got... Okay, that's the ladder that's over there where all that gas and stuff is at. Okay. Um... I don't know. Where do we want to go? Do we need to go back and go down that ladder? Let me think about this. Dang. Okay, you know what? I don't know. I'm not... I'm not sure. I can't decide, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. And we're at least gonna go see what's down there. Uh, descend. Ah, so it's a lever. Here's something power up nearby. Okay. We probably needed that, so it's a good thing I came back. Yeah, we probably needed that to power this on. The power is on. Yep, okay. Push the button. Take the lift. Thank you! This seems f familiar. Okay. What are we doing here? It appears a horse-shaped object needs to be inserted. Okay. I can't go down. Mm. 
painting of a man's face. His expression is hollow. Oh, you pull the painting down, find a heavy metal block. It's a block of filament metal with a low melting point. Picked up filament. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go straight. Stare into the painting on the wall, but can't tell what the artist's intention was. The painting smells awful. Okay. A corroded metal bucket sits at the floor's edge. Put a bar of filament into the bucket and lower it into the dark liquid. Oh! Horse figurine. Half of a golden horse figurine. Okay. Now we need to find the other piece. Gotcha. So we'll go this way. Strange red painting is mesmerizing. The red sores from the painting seem to be spreading onto the floor. Okay, we got some more filament. What's over here, though? Dead end and a painting. Description of the painting reads, Party in Hell. The partygoers in the painting have an emotionless expression. We got horse booty. That is an ominously big door. Where's my flashlight? Oh, I don't like this. No, no, no. This is very boss room. Oh my god. What is going on in here? Caleb's Diary 1. And Caleb, the guy in the sewer? Yesterday a man came into our school. Mrs. Phillips tried to hold the door, but he shot her in the head. Then he shot all of us. I thought I was dead, but then I woke up here. We were all scared because we are all alone. But Owen said we have to stick together. Everything was okay at first. We found a big school. It was empty and the lights were out, but Owen said we had to find food, so we had to be brave. Katie would not stop crying. She said she kept seeing shakers. I thought she was lying, but then I started to see them too. Soon everyone could see them. We had to leave the school because Jessica L got really sad and let a shaker get her. She kept crying for her mommy. It ate her. Oh. Okay. The class was really sad about what happened to Jessica, but Owen said we don't have time to be sad. We hiked for a day and were able to find a big hospital. There were enough beds inside for every student. Everything seemed fine when we went to sleep, but when we woke up, me, Katie, and Owen were the only ones left. We checked again and again, but the beds were all empty. Everyone was gone. Katie and Owen and me spent today trying to find some food, but everything everything we found smelled really bad. Owen noticed the that daytime is really short here, and it seems like it's always night. We found an empty apartment near the hospital, and we were able to get, to get something to work. A TV to work. And it play all it played was static. During the night, me and Owen woke up to Katie screaming. We heard it all around us. It wasn't until we looked up that it stopped. Katie was on the ceiling, shaking like one of those things. As we looked up at her, she stopped shaking. She just stared at us and made weird noises. Owen asked her to come down, but she didn't seem to hear. She faded into the ceiling. Owen says she's probably gone forever. We ran out of the apartment after what happened with Katie. Owen was so upset. I was too. Katie made such weird faces when she was looking at us. With nowhere to go, we were lucky we found a sewer key. The sewer seemed scary at first, but it's empty. We have been staying in the sewer for a few days now. Hopefully we will continue to be safe. Owen disappeared. Sad face. 
He went for a pee and never came back. I went looking for him, but all I found was his shoes. Now I'm all- oh, is that whose shoes maybe we saw? Now I'm all alone, and even worse, creatures have started appearing in the sewers. The floors have suddenly become something rusted and covered in human organs. It's dangerous. It's too dangerous to leave my hiding spot, so I spend a lot of time in the darkness. It's so lonely here, Caleb. Oh. Um... Hello. I am not ready for a boss battle, my guy. What the hell are you loading? No, no boss battles. Oh, come on. Do not just throw me in here like this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey. You died. If you make me start all the way over, the way I will be pissed, because there has not been a save for a long time. Try again. Ah! What the hell am I supposed to do? I guess... Sewers? That's highlighted now. What the? I don't want to be here anymore. I'm losing control of my body. I can't stop shaking. I'm going to the surface. Hopefully I can make it. Did I do a good? Did I actually... <laughs> Did I actually figure out that I'm not supposed to actually boss battle? Because we haven't boss battled this whole time. How do I get out of here? So am I playing as Caleb now, or...? I think the highway is over here, right? Why did my phone just turn off? Sell that shit. Ooh. I was right. Okay. We out this bitch? We out this bitch? Come on. Let me go, let me free, let me get out of this town. Get me out of hell. Save me. Cordova Forest Service. Save me. Save me. I'm gonna save over that one. Okay, can't look at these. What do we got here? What is that? Quarter on the desk. Park Ranger's note. Nothing. Key! There's a bus here. What the hell happened here? Crash school bus. The doors are too damaged to get inside. Whoa. Okay. If you, like, honk at me, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. I guess I was walking forever? 
large tree has fallen on the road. You try to climb over it, but it's covered in large thorns. You can't pass until it's moved. Okay, so now we gotta move a tree. Ah! Broccoli! My broccoli. Herby five! I was gonna say, I thought Caleb was the one who was um, in that other sewer, the one we kept feeding them to. The... Um... The, the herbs to. Okay, we got a lot of missing toilets. Use the utility room key? I didn't know I had a utility room key. Okay, diesel, there isn't much left. A note to Terry. Hey, moron. Why did your stupid ass leave the plow out in the middle of the park? A bunch of little jerks filled the tank with sand. I managed to drain it out, but you need to refill the tank with diesel and bring it back to the Forest Service office. Since your stupid ass probably doesn't know how to prime a diesel engine, I'll take you through it. Fill the tank with diesel, pump, and the pump and the bleed screw are located near the fuel filter on the engine. The primer pump will be a larger rubber button. Loosen the bleed screw to allow the air to leave the fuel line. Pump the primer for 10 minutes or until you see fuel coming from the bleed screw. Tighten the bleed screw and no leakage. Start the engine. Um, okay. Let's see. How do I simplify? Oh, that's not good. Sarah Cambers? 8-7-8-12-83. To anyone that finds this, I am trapped in the bathroom. I walked home through the park after school because it was a nice day out. I had to go to the bathroom, so I stepped inside for a minute. Now the door won't open, and there's a creepy lady in the last stall. She has really long hair, and she keeps pulling it out and throwing it on the floor. She... In the last stall, huh? Okay, creepy lady. So, so far this game has been pretty interesting. It's not like creepy or any- well, no, it's- It's not the creepiest creepy of games. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't know, the game is like- I don't want to say it's like creepy, because it's not super creepy, you know? But like... It does have a bit of a Silent Hill kind of factor to it. But it's mostly puzzles, and like I said, we haven't been actually chased by anything. There's been a couple of, like, just weird moments, but... Nothing actually, you know, life-threatening. Aha! Large pass that's abandoned, doors are locked, you need a key. Don't I have the key? Okay, there's that. Find a small compartment and pull back a source to reveal an area to insert fuel. Okay. You need to fill a fuel plow's tank. Yes. Yeah. There wasn't much left in the cans and soon it's empty. Hopefully this is enough. Yeah. Okay. Loosen the bleed screw. Near fuel filter. Carefully follow the instructions you read earlier. Tighten the bleed screw. The plow should work now. Okay. Now I just need to find a key, apparently. Oh, uh, look. I found a key. Plow key. Got it. We out. All right, let's do it. Let me in this beach. Oh. All right. Oh, 
Oh, I was impressed by that lighting just then. That's kind of nice. All right, tree. It's your time now. Use the plow to move the tree. It runs out of gas just as you finish. Okay. Alright, guess I'm walking along here. Oh, come on. What the fuck, dude? Okay. Welcome to hell. Thanks, I guess. Very... Silent Hill. If Carolyn is here, I'm going to find her. Must we find her? Like, really? At this point, I'm done with her. I'm so over her, her tired ass, and all the bullshit she gets up to and does, and all the other things. Dumb bitch probably came out here on purpose. Ain't seen hide or hair of this woman yet. We've heard a woman laughing and being psychotic, but that's about it. Oh. The hell was that sound? All right, there's another payphone down here. Current doesn't look too strong. You could row back to Cordova here. Going to need oars, though. Okay, so we're still on the lookout for these damn oars. Ooh, okay. Let me go this way. Something, I don't know. A log cabin. Its wood is rotted and covered in bugs. Door locked. Needs a key. Alright. What's that? Picked up a walnut. Something right there. Give me the shit. Give me the shit. Oh my god, this okay, Dev, your game. <laughs> Axe seems like a perfect weapon, but you can't pull it from the log. Against the edge of the axe, walnut shells fall apart, rewarding a moonstone. Perhaps there are more things to be cracked. Crack another walnut. Another moonstone? Alright. Okay, so we are on the lookout for walnuts and whatever. Briefcase sits frozen in the black muck. You try to pull it out, it won't move. The case is locked. The gem... Three gem-like indents seem to be some type of security mechanism. Place a moonstone into one of the indents. It fits perfectly. Place another moonstone. Okay, so we're looking for at least another one. Okay, there's a place back here. Interesting. Okay, that, that goes away. Let's go ahead and check this out, because this is nearby. It's smoking like somebody's here. A metal hatch. There's an indentation for a gem. Okay, more gems. A 
crack in the side reveals a strange gem. Try to crack the wall and open yourself, but it's too difficult. Okay, so we got that. Path closed due to landslide. Da da da. Okay, it's another moonstone. Maybe it's in here then. Okay, reveals a single key. Cabin key. Notice from caretaker. Due to the landslide, the trail is closed. However, you may take the boat into town if there is an emergency. Just remember the boat on the right goes further into hell. The boat on the left goes back to Cordova. Okay. Got our oars. Do we not have... No, no gemstone. Strange noise outside. Okay. Okay then, um, I guess I have a decision to make how to proceed from here, right? So because we have two options, I'm thinking I'm going to save, that way we can explore. So we can either go further into hell or we can go back to Cordova. So, I'm going to do Dock again, so the first one. This one is to Hell, right? Yes. Okay, let's go to Hell. Okay. Well, we got an actual cutscene this time. Hello? <gasps> Puppy! Oh, oh my gosh! Hi! Oh, you, you still look really creepy and jank, dude. They really could have done a better job with you. But I'll keep you either way. So he's my buddy. you, Caroline? Do you even want me to find you, Caroline? Caroline, whatever the fuck her name is. It doesn't matter now. I'm getting you out of this nightmare world. Even if it kills me. Okay. So, I think that was meant to be the real ending there uh, for this particular version of Concluse. I do believe there is a Concluse 2 that's already out. Um, this one's free to play, but I believe the second one is paid for. So, I don't have that one, unfortunately. But this is definitely an interesting game. Um, maybe in the next couple of weeks or so, we might come back and try to play this. Play uh, number two. If you guys want to see it. Uh, in the meantime, what I'm thinking of doing is reloading the game, and then I think what we'll do is see what happens when we go back to Cordova, because why would that be an option otherwise? So there must be something there. So I'm going to let this play through for myself, just to make sure there's nothing else to the ending here, and then we'll reload and go back. Next time on Converse. Oh.
Oh, I wonder if the the monsters and stuff are going to be more active in the next one. Uh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Here we go. So, interestingly, I went behind the cabin, and I found... I didn't even realize I could go behind the cabin. I just took a chance. So we're gonna go and crack this. Walnut shell falls part revealing an error. Picked up error. Okay. Okay, so I was trying to figure out what to do, and I wasn't really sure. So for this part, I decided to look up a guide because I don't really know what I'm doing. I tried to follow just like a general path, but I wasn't sure what, uh, quite what I was doing. So there is, uh, some stuff that you actually have to do. So we needed the walnut that was behind that cabin that I showed you guys. But now, instead of using it, apparently, we need to go, um, back to Cordova first. Because according to the guide that I found, there's like two items, I guess, that you need. So we need to head to Cordova. So at this point, I'm just going to follow a guide. And hopefully that'll be correct. You know what I forgot? And the guide actually brought this up. This wants us to go to that sewer that's down here. Because I forgot I picked up that other tree. We gotta go say hi to a friend and give him another tree. I got your tree! Come eat this shrub, boo. I got something for you. Yeah. Eat it all up. There you go. Oh. Hey. Remember that I was the one that freed you, okay? You can't be like all coming for me. Mm-hmm. He gone. He said, freedom, bitch, I out. Okay, he went up above. Yeah. Damn this. Okay, Dev, I seriously hope that in concludes to you fix these damn stairs. That's ridiculous. Oh my. Uh... So, we're gonna take the boat across. Because apparently that trail leads to wherever we need to be anyway. So, we're gonna head back. Okay, to the docks. Okay, so apparently if you had followed the blood trail, it was just gonna take you all the way through the map again. This was just the shorter path. By going back through the docks. So, we're gonna go through here. Can I get my axe? My, nope. Thought I was gonna need it, but I suppose not. Alright, before I get in here, let me check. Okay, we used our error gem to get in. Fucking light sucks. Guess we're falling in the blood trail. Awful lot of it. Made a mess. There does not appear to be a way for you to open the door. It appears the changed creature has come through here. The door is now open. Ooh, it's loud. Uh, it's a big, uh, 
Where the hell am I? What is all of this? What the hell am I stuck on? Okay, lots of bodies. Old wrinkled paper. The baths, bathy spheres have been completed, but we're starting to see shakers and the dock area. If they catch us off guard, we won't have time to escape. Ever since Paul left, they started to show up. I'm starting to think it's connected to their appearance or his appearance. Whatever. Paul showed up today. He was covered in the substance. His eyes were strange. We told him to stay back. He just laughed and turned around and walked back into the forest. He double-crossed us. Paul, he brought a group of them today. I'm the only one left alive, and I've been infected, so I can't use the bath spheres. My fingers twitch as I try to write this. Whoever reads this, Paul is locked in the sewers in Cordova. Don't let him out. Oops. Um. I let Paul out. Tricked the fool into setting me free. Left for Burboza to find a cure. Oh, okay. Well then. Computer won't turn on, needs a power cord. You plug in the cord, hit the power switch, it starts to boot up. It boots to a screen that reads active bath sphere? Activate bath sphere? Oh. Whoa. Oh my god, it's like it's like the uh, scene in Mad God where they like deliver the little uh, those guys down into whatever that world is supposed to be. Have you seen Mad God? It's so good. Phil Tipton did a really good job with that. I love it. It's like super weird and everything, and it's just everything I love. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Takes the button is stiff to the touch. It takes all your strength to press it in. Took all my strength just to walk over here. Shit. Now where am I going? Oh, okay. Wow. What's this?
Ooh. I don't I don't know if I want to get in there. This is the memorial site of the fallen king of Gardo. Once a bustling, stylish, and advanced society, Gardo was brought to its knees when its manifold collapsed and the substance was allowed to flow into this world. In a matter of days the entire kingdom and its inhabitants were infected, and the decision was made to shutter the kingdom completely. All that is left of Gardo is the intense winds and weather system the kingdom was known for. This is the memorial site for the fallen kingdom of Gardo. Once a bustling, stylish, and advanced society, Gardo was brought to its knees when its manifold collapsed and the substance was allowed to flow into this world. In a matter of days the entire kingdom and its inhabitants were infected and the decision was made to shutter the kingdom completely. All that is left of Gardo is the intense winds and weather system the kingdom was known for. This is the memorial site for the fallen kingdom of Gardo. Once a bustling, stylish, and advanced society, Gardo was brought to its knees when its manifold collapsed and the substance was alive. Appears to be a children's book, but it's filled with strange creatures you've never seen before. As you flip through its pages, you find each illustration more and more unnerving. A handwritten journal of some kind. It's written a foreign language you don't understand. Characters look like pictures strung together. This is the memorial site for the fallen kingdom of Gardo. Once a bustling, stylish, and advanced society, Gardo was brought to its knees when its manifold collapsed in the A guest book. Would you like to sign? Sign the guest book. Okay. Trash. I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's looping. A tattered old book. You gently turn the cover. The first page reads, Linking Book. Would you like to return to Cordova? I don't know. Would I? Go. Uh... Okay, so according to the guide, that is everything. We have now officially done it all. There is nothing left to see. I guess uh, if you guys really enjoyed this gameplay, we might come back around and uh, we'll play again. Well, not this particular one again. We'll, uh, we'll play number two. Um, as it is, this took us, this free game took us four hours to do. And like I said, that was trying to figure out some of the puzzles too, because some of the puzzles I had no idea what the hell I was doing. And uh, it was a lot of trial and error, which I'm not going to show you guys because it would take forever. And I'm not trying to make this like a four hour long video if I can help it. It'll be a miracle if it's not an hour as it is. I've been doing a lot of long videos that are an hour lately, which is kind of driving me crazy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you do want to see uh, Concluse 2. And we will get back around to that after we played some of the other games that are currently on our roster. As well as uh, some other ones that I had already planned to play. So we might not get to it right away. But if it is something you guys want to see, let me know. And I'll put it uh, on my list so I know that we need to come back and play this. So I'll see you guys on a later day.